Hi everyone, meteorologist Joel Curtis with your Alaska Weather Show. Starting out with our hazardous weather, we've got uh, some winter storm watches for uh, the Chukchi Sea coast, uh, also around Norton Sound and uh, down along the southwestern portion of the Brooks Range. Uh, we also have uh, for the Seward Peninsula, also along the Alaska Range and down uh, as far south as about uh, Hooper Bay and also including St. Lawrence Island. We also have a, a winter weather advisory for the southern part of Kotzebue Sound. And the special weather statement that you see from McGrath northward is there is for the potential for heavy snow. Looking at the eclipse that occurred today, uh, uh, quite uh, amazing to see that uh, moon shadow travel across the globe in such a way. We uh, used the uh, full disk satellite loop to get this. And uh, again, uh, I think a reasonable number of people in Lower 48 got to see it. And there was a little bit of shadow in southeastern Alaska as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to talking to my brother and, and finding out how it went there in Maine. So, uh, looking at our satellite loop for today, we have a low pressure system uh, down in the Gulf of Alaska, not too far offshore. A couple of skiffs of clouds moving onshore for some precipitation in southeast Alaska. Uh, also, we have a good deal of cloud cover over southwestern Alaska and uh, out over the western Bering Sea. You can see that that's our comer that we're watching there for those winter storm watches. So we're, uh, again, we're keeping an eye on how that weather system shapes up. So uh, again, for our, our surface map today, a 994 millibar, not too far from Middleton Island, a couple of troughs out over the Gulf of Alaska, and again, uh, uh, shoving a little bit of uh, uh, showery type precipitation onto the uh, Panhandle Coast. Uh, also for uh, a little bit uh, uh, coming off of Prince William Sound or so. And then you can see some cloud streets in a, in a trough along the, uh, s the southeastern side of the Alaska Peninsula. And again, some clouds over uh, western Alaska as well. Then for tonight, that low actually backs up into about Kennedy Entrance just north of Kodiak Island at 996 millibars. Uh, the trough uh, moved across the Gulf of Alaska and is causing precipitation again across the Panhandle. But take a look at also that extensive area of potential precipitation almost all the way to the North Slope uh, uh, around a, uh, the uh, low pressure system. Uh, the uh, trough is now uh, down straight uh, north-south uh, down through the Gulf of Alaska. And you can see the precipitation spreading out ahead of that Bering Sea system that we're keeping our eye on. Then for Tuesday, a warm front really shapes up along that system with a 995 millibar uh, low near uh, Anadir. Also, the low that was in the Gulf uh, weakens to 1,003 millibars with a, a cold front starting to shape up down in, the, in through the Gulf. But notice the trough line that comes up through Cook Inlet and uh, goes on over into northwestern Canada. So the warm air uh, with that next system is our reason, our cause for concern, because when you see it on Wednesday, the uh, low deepens to 985 millibars, uh, not too far north of St. Lawrence Island, and then uh, we also have uh, some uh, wind conditions that will be along the west coast as well as that slug of warm air causing a lot of uh, precipitation. So that's our reason for concern. And also the low that's in the Gulf now has an occluded front form along it and it's a, a weakened to 1,010 millibars, but it's still pushing precipitation along the North Gulf Coast and into Southeast Alaska. With that 972 millibar low in the far western Bering Sea, we've got to keep our eye on that one too. So uh, looks, let's take a look at our low temperatures for Tuesday morning. First of all, for the Panhandle, uh, temperatures well into the 30s. Uh, as you get up to Glen Allen, though, we'd see it drops off to 17 degrees. Lots of 20-degree uh, readings for South Central. And then uh, for our afternoon highs, which you see for Southeast Alaska, is temperatures well into the 40s, including 49 for Skagway, 43 for Yakutat, also 42 for Glen Allen. That's uh, really quite a uh, uh, temperature differential there between the uh, low and the high temperature. Also 42 for McGrath, but still in the 30s with a little bit more cloud cover down in much of South Central. And then for our low temperatures Wednesday night, we see uh, temperatures again back in the 30s for the Panhandle. 
Uh, 16 for Glen Allen, a little bit cooler, but then uh, around in the 20s or so for much of South Central Alaska. And then the high temperatures on Wednesday afternoon, you see I got a couple of readings. Anchorage will probably get to 40 as long, along with Kenai. Uh, 38 for Seward, uh, 41 for Glen Allen, and 43 for Talkeetna, then they probably got a little bit more sunshine up in there too to, to make that uh, uh, go. In the meantime, you're looking for southeast Alaska, you've got uh, a lot of readings in the 40s, uh, approaching almost 50 degrees down by Ketchikan. For our low temperatures Tuesday morning for the North Slope, Tem negative temperatures well into the minus 20s. Uh, good, got a few readings around in the minus teens or so. And as you get further south, especially on the west coast, uh, minus uh, 18 for Kotzebue, but minus 12 for, uh, for uh, we've got uh, Nome, and then uh, minus 7 for uh, St. Mary's. Uh, as you get into the interior, however, and a little bit clearer skies, so you can see those single digits starting to show up, including some negative temperatures. And then uh, 15 for a low for uh, uh, Fairbanks. And then for a high temperature Tuesday afternoon, uh, reaching the 40s along the Alcan, but as you get further to, and further to the west, things are a little bit cooler. Uh, negative uh, temperatures in the single digits along the north slope, single digits plus uh, along the uh, west, uh, west coast. And then for uh, Wednesday afternoon, we've got uh, uh, highs, uh, I mean, excuse me, Wednesday morning, we've got uh, uh, temperatures in the, in the negative teens all across the north slope, uh, zero for Point Hope. Uh, notice that the west is start, starting to warm up a little bit down there by Norton Sound or so. Uh, a few single digits and uh, uh, St. Lawrence Island, 24. So, uh, but it's still in the teens as you get over the uh, uh, eastern interior. And then for uh, Wednesday afternoon, uh, uh, highs in the 40s uh, all along the eastern interior, but uh, uh, still uh, temperatures ranging anywhere from about 9 to 22 along the north slope, and then temperatures well in the 20s, and a couple of readings above freezing as you get uh, uh, further south along the west. So for the southwest, uh, starting out Tuesday morning, uh, a lot of single-digit uh, negative temperatures in uh, the uh, western areas. Uh, that's still a reflection of the cold air with those uh, northerly winds that we've been having. But then uh, as you go out the Alaska Peninsula, the teens and well into the 20s, the Privilege 17, and on you get all the way out to Shimia, it's about 34. Then for a high temperatures Tuesday afternoon, uh, lots of readings in the 20s along the uh, Bristol Bay area and uh, northern Alaska Peninsula. Uh, also uh, 24 for uh, Mokoyuk and uh, 28 for St. Lawrence Island, but still hanging there in, in there in the plus teens uh, as you get a little bit further inland. And then uh, look at that uh, 42 down there for, uh, for um, uh, Atka. So, uh, now, looking at our low temperatures for uh, Wednesday morning, uh, again, uh, a few single digits in the western interior, but still uh, uh, fairly warm as you get out toward the coast. Uh, temperatures in the 20s for the Alaska Peninsula, 27 for the Privilofs, and into the 30-degree 30, 30 region, uh, region for the uh, Aleutians. And then for our high temperatures Wednesday afternoon, look at all the temperatures on the west that are above freezing. So uh, that's a reflection of that warm air, including the Privlofs get the uh, 36 uh, temperatures all along the Aleutians uh, in the 40s and in the 30s as you get further up the Alaska Peninsula. For our 6 to 10 day temperature outlook, uh, April 14th to the 18th, uh, a pretty good chance of below normal temperatures for about the southern half of the state and a slight chance that it'll be below normal as you get further north. Uh, the uh, best chance for wet will be uh, in the northwestern section of the state, uh, again on that six to 10 day. And then for eight to 14 day, uh, looks like the whole state is predicted to be uh, below normal temperatures with the best chance of that uh, for the uh, Bethel area and southwestern Alaska. And then for our precipitation, again, the Northwest has the best chance of being above normal precipitation. And then uh, for the, uh, just about the Southern half of the state or so, we're looking at uh, uh, around normal temperatures. So uh, thanks for tuning in everybody. Please stay safe out there and uh, stay up with those, uh, with your favorite websites uh, for the warnings uh, all across Western Alaska. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe out there.